Hey everyone, Nick from Practically Tactical. Thank you for tuning in. I have Justin with Phoenix Ammo with me. Justin, thanks again for having us up here, man. Hey, Appreciate no problem. It. My pleasure. So something that comes up quite a bit, and uh, maybe in this video we can kill some stigmatim stigmatism with it, is you know remanufactured ammo is dirty, <laughs> um, but you know new is clean. But in all honesty, for those that maybe aren't familiar with the manufacturing process sure. of new versus remanufactured, reloaded, whatever it is. It's done exactly the same. Correct. Right. Right. The only thing that's different is the brass. That's correct. Right. So from a manufacturing standpoint, uh, what we do here is we assemble cartridges. So uh, we don't actually manufacture any of the component parts. We simply take component parts, assemble them as a factory new cartridge. So that's a term that you hear: factory new versus remanufactured. So remanufactured cartridges are using brass cases that have been fired previously, uh, whether you get them from a local range or a gun club. Uh, so in order to reuse a brass case, it has to undergo a long process to effectively recertify it and return it to as close to factory new condition as possible. So for us, that brass gets sorted by caliber uh, mm -hmm. as a, at the very beginning. Uh, it then gets cleaned in a two-stage process uh, using water and some detergents uh, to get all of the, um, you know, outside dirt and debris, uh, carbon fouling, et cetera, off of the brass. From there, it goes into a processing machine. Uh, in a multi-step uh, process, for lack of a better word, it will have the old primer punched out. It has a full-length die that resizes the brass case. Uh, so when the brass is fired in, in the gun, of course, as Expands. we know from yeah, malfunction mayhem drills, <laughs> uh, they expand to the size of the chamber, which varies depending on who manufactured it, uh, the reamer it was used to manufacture, et cetera. So, and in, in guns with unsupported chambers, uh, you'll commonly have bulging at the bottom of the case, uh, Glocks most notably, that's why they call it the Glock bulge. Um, and not to be confused with... Uh, the sort of Glock bulge that Jeff might be interested in. But, uh, so in any case, uh, the die will resize the case to be the same shape that it was prior to have been fired, right? So now that we have the primer out, uh, that resized brass gets cleaned once more so that we can get all of the carbon fouling out of the primer pocket so that it's ready to accept the new primer without the primer getting crushed or uh, misplaced. So uh, I guess I should also back up and say, during that process, each piece of brass is, as I had said before, pressure tested uh, by the machine to make sure that it's not split or cracked. Uh, there's a uh, sensor that will look for certain brands of cases that are not supposed to be reused, mm -hmm. uh, cases that are aluminum or steel, cases that have a, a ridge or a step uh, in the center line that are notorious for, uh, for breaking. So, and, and I guess something important too is this is your process. Not correct. all manufacturers are the That's same. That's correct. Uh, and again, if you guys aren't familiar with Phoenix Ammo, we have a video uh, talking with Justin about the ammo. Everything is super high quality, goes through all their processes there. Uh, but I just want to mention that's your guys' process yes. uh, that can vary <clears> by <throat> that's correct. person yeah, not, or how many beers they've had. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, not everybody. Uh, so, see, the equipment that does our processing is not something that your average uh, Joe Bob reloader. Uh, will have available to, to him or her. This yeah. is being done hundreds of thousands of cases at a time in uh, professional industrial equipment designed just for the processing uh, of brass. Um, and then, so that's done as a, as a separate stage before loading even begins. Um, and so yes, now, uh, that's one thing to be, uh, as a consumer, to ask if you're purchasing ammunition from a, a, a company that's reloading is uh, what process do they use to recertify the brass that they're that they're using okay very important so then once basically once the brass is all kind of prepped up and set mm -hmm. and ready when you actually go to put it in the machines and load it yes from that point in time whether it's new brass or reused yep. brass it's exactly the same yep exactly so um, our machines uh, are set up the same way regardless of whether we're using factory new brass like we would in our self-defense or hunting or competitive ammunition versus uh, remanufactured brass that you would be using for training or you know low-level low competition uh, at that point the machines don't know the difference so 
the case goes in, it gets flared, uh, the powder gets put in the case. Uh, we have a sensor that is accurate to two tenths of a grain that uh, checks to make sure the, the powder charge is within specification. Uh, the bullet gets set in place, it gets crimped, and then, or I'm sorry, it gets seated, and then it gets crimped. Okay. Now, because, again, one of the myths of, of remanufactured, whatever term, is, well, it's dirtier. Right. Well, if, if you're shooting remanufactured ammo that's dirtier, that's the actual manufacturing process of something they're doing. Uh, yes. And more likely, their new ammo would also be the exact same way as well. Correct. So it yep. really goes back to the manufacturer. It's not yes. the remanufactured ammo that's dirty. It's the right. actual manufacturer. Sure. It's uh, just just like many other products. You know, you have people that take the time to do it the right way, and people who try to cut steps out of the process to uh, increase their profit margin, make it faster, whatever the case may be. So uh, our brass is cleaned two times during the processing. Uh, we load it and then we actually give it a final polish after it's loaded and before it's been inspected for um, any deficiencies. So uh, our ammunition is clean out of the box. You don't have to load them with rubber gloves on, uh, which you shouldn't have to do. Yeah. I mean, it shouldn't just shouldn't work well, that's, that that's way. That's the thing that usually, yeah, after you're like, you load up crappy ammo, you look at your hands and they're all black and you're like... <laughs> yeah. Did I get four or five cancers? I, I, I don't, right. I don't yeah, know. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lead, uh, uh, arsenic. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very important. It, not only does it make a more presentable product for customers, but from the standpoint of reducing failures, you know, a, any foreign debris on the case that is present is, is a potential point of failure. Yeah. Um, if you use cheaper powder that uh, is cheaper to purchase, but burns dirtier, leaves your gun sooty. Uh, again, that's another point of failure that we try to eliminate, uh, which is why we use hydrogen powder. It is more expensive than other brands. We find that it burns very, very clean, and um, that's probably the most oft-repeated comment that we get from our customers is, wow, I can't believe how clean my gun was after having shot a full three-gun competition. It looked it, it looks great, you know, usually after two boxes of you know, Winchester White, White Box, Box or Remington UMC, the, the gun looks like it's been dropped I'm, into the into the sewer. I mean, so. Winchester should just be Black Box, and then they would have their marketing <laughs> down for them. That's they would right. have their yeah. marketing down sure. for them. Um, but, yeah, there it is, guys. Again, it's it, there's, it, it goes back to the quality of the manufacturer, not right. the actual process itself. That's right. And, again, it, you go check out the video with Justin. We go over lasers, measure this stuff, and it goes in these measuring things and they're hand inspected this this whole thing that's beyond smarter than i am uh but it's kind of one of those things of you know like a lot of people won't shoot like reman like i shoot your guys's ammo uh through my silencer so be like oh i can remanufactured ammo and you know my right. damage it's like no if it's high quality ammo it's going to literally perform the exact same way every single time it's not the process correct which is still important yes we're not saying it's not but it really comes down to the manufacturer and how they they manage that process and yep. what makes high quality ammo, whether it's new or remanufactured. Absolutely, a common misconception that we hear is, well, I bought X brand of gun and, and I read the user manual. I don't know who ever reads the user manual that comes with their gun, but- You don't do that, nobody uh, does never. that. No. Yeah, and, and, and it says that I, I'm not supposed to shoot, uh, I, I should only shoot factory ammunition. I shouldn't you shoot remanufactured ammunition. And uh, usually when I hear that, it's, uh, I'll be honest, usually from somebody that just bought a Kimber. Uh, but you, what you have to understand is most of these companies that manufacture firearms also manufacture ammunition. So they, they do have a bit of a vested interest in yeah. trying to get you to shoot their product versus, versus somebody else's. That's not to say that there aren't plenty of companies out there making remanufactured ammunition that honestly shouldn't be making scrambled eggs, let alone ammunition. <laughs> um, however, if you, if you look at the product and you understand the process and, and more importantly, you feel comfortable that the manufacturer understands the process, uh, then you, you really shouldn't have any issues. Yeah. Uh, well, there it is, guys. Kind of want to do a video since we have Mr. Ammo Extraordinaire here <laughs> with us um, to kind of kind of squash that because, yeah, there's just so many, like, myths. Right. Like, it's, this is some potentially evil, bad <laughs> right. uh, cartridge, not bullet cartridge. Uh, <laughs> but it's literally, again, it goes to the process and the quality of the manufacturing, yes. not necessarily what we have here, but while it's all important. Um, so, yeah, if you guys out there, uh, you're looking for affordable, high, very high quality 
Every round is inspected ammo, whether it's new or remanufactured. Please go check out Phoenix Ammo. There's actually a description box down below for you guys to take advantage of. Save a few bucks. You can get out to the range, out for training, uh, whatever it is. And if you guys are competition, you guys have competition line. You have PRS ammo coming yep. out. You got rifle. You got handgun. You guys got it all. Um, so uh, you guys take advantage of the discount code. Check them out. We absolutely love their ammo. Uh, again, it's affordable, but it's also really high quality. So, Justin, thank you so much for having no us problem, out dude. here. Thank you. Explaining the process to us. Uh, because, again, it's one of those things of like, it's like a myth or somebody. It's like, that's right. Dude, it's all the same. Just go shoot. Dispelling myths is uh, part of the job. That's right. Uh, well, there it is, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Again, check out the description box below. Be sure to subscribe, and we will catch you in the next video.